Hello, my name is Rick. Welcome to iReady Support. If you are attempting to access iReady content using the iReady for Students app on an iPad and get the message indicating there is a problem with your account that cannot be fixed from this app, please log in from your computer. It means your district is using Single Sign-On or SSO and you will need to log into iReady using another app. The two most popular SSO apps for iReady are Clever and ClassLink. In this video, we'll walk through the process using Clever SSO. In the App Store, download the Clever app published by Clever Inc. Open the Clever app. If your teacher provided a name badge with a QR code, select the Clever Badge Login option. When the front camera comes on, hold the QR code up to the camera and the login process will begin. When you see a list of programs, find and select the iReady application. When you see the message, open this page in iReady, select open. The iReady for Students app will then launch. You should now be able to select the lessons in your learning path. If you do not have a name badge with a QR code, you'll need to search for your school and district. As you type the name of your school, a list will populate. Be sure you select the correct school and district since many schools have the same name. For example, if your student is at Chandler Preparatory Academy, which is part of Great Hearts Academies in Arizona, start typing Chandler and then find Chandler Preparatory Academy, part of the Great Hearts Academies in Arizona. Next, you'll need to type in your username and password and then click Login. When you see a list of programs, find and select the iReady application. When you see the message, open this page in iReady, select Open. The iReady for Students app will then launch and you should now be able to see, select the lessons in your learning path. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. For additional support information, go to www.i-ready.com forward slash support. There you will find options on how to contact our support team as well as helpful resources such as our system requirements and system check.